today we're going to show you how to perform a recrystallization of impure benzoic acid. The recrystallization process will purify the impure benzoic acid. But before we begin, we need to make sure that you're ready to work safely in the lab. First of all, you must make sure you are wearing fully covered shoes and long pants, ensuring your feet and legs are covered. Safety glasses must be worn at all times while in the lab, and long hair must be tied back. Finally, a lab coat must be worn. You also need to use heatproof gloves when handling hot glassware, as this is one of the biggest safety hazards of this experiment. For this experiment, you will need the following equipment. Boiling chips, impure benzoic acid and decolorizing charcoal. A 250ml beaker, two conical flasks, a funnel, filter paper, an ice bath, a buchner funnel, a glass rod and a spatula. You will also need a heat source like a hot plate, weighing scales, watch glass and a melting point apparatus. In a 250ml beaker, heat around 100ml of water on the hot plate until it's boiling. In a separate conical flask, place one boiling chip into 10ml of water and heat until boiling. Add a gram of benzoic acid and swirl until it dissolves completely. You should be left with a pink solution. Remove the pink mixture from the heat source and add one teaspoon of decolorizing charcoal. This should turn the pink solution black. Return this to the heat and resume boiling. Place a piece of filter paper onto the scales and record the weight. Fold the filter paper into a funnel placed within the top of a clean conical flask. Then add a little water to dampen the filter paper. Filter the hot solution through the filter paper and into a clean conical flask while this is on the heat source. Once filtered, allow the new solution to cool to room temperature. You can place this in the ice bath to speed up the cooling process once the glassware has cooled down. Once the solution has fully cooled, place clean filter paper into a Buchner funnel. Dampen the filter paper before filtering the cooled mixture using the vacuum filtration method. Using tweezers, transfer the filter paper from the Buchner funnel onto a watch glass. Then place the watch glass into the oven to dry at 80 degrees Celsius for no longer than 10 minutes. After around 10 minutes, remove the watch glass from the oven, remembering to use gloves as the watch glass will be hot. Weigh the filter paper containing the crystals and record the weight. Subtract the weight of the filter paper from this and you'll be left with the actual weight of your crystals. Recrystallization is the primary method for purifying solid organic compounds. Examples of how industries use recrystallization is in the production of pure sugar and salt. Using the melting point apparatus to determine the melting point of the product. Record the temperature at which the crystals begin to show signs of melting and again once the crystals have melted completely. This is done to determine the purity of the product. It is useful to research the expected mounting point of your product prior to the experiment so that you can judge whether or not your experiment has been successful. The expected mounting point of benzoic acid is around 122 degrees Celsius.